early years, you were a Marxist. Yes. Uh, what happened? How did you uh, get away from that? Uh, I took a job in the government. I went to the University of Chicago as a Marxist. After a year of, of uh, studying under Milton Friedman, I was still a Marxist. But uh, one summer of working in the government was enough to uh, turn, start, start turning around. Really, what happened to you there? Well, nothing happened to me, but that I realized that the government was n nowhere close to being capable of doing what people on the left wanted the government to do. And that, in fact, we'd be lucky if they didn't make things worse. For example, I was in the Labor Department, and uh, they administered the minimum wage law. Uh, to me, the question was, did minimum wage laws make poor people better off or worse off? Mm -hmm. That was not the question for them. The minimum wage law provided one-third of their to total budget. And they weren't going to look at this in uh, this other way. And as I tried to get into the question, does this cause unemployment and stuff like that, uh, there was no enthusiasm whatsoever for that whole line of reasoning. Uh, you've written a trilogy of books about, about people you call the anointed, yes. which, which are, are basically liberals mm -hmm. uh, in American society. What do you, what do you, uh, are you, what do you mean by calling them anointed or self-anointed? That's right. Uh, there, there are people who seriously believe that they are wiser and nobler than others. And the way to improve society is to have the government force people to follow what the anointed want rather than have let people do what they themselves want to do. And uh, th there are all kinds of fiascos that follow in the wake of this kind of, this kind of notion. Conservatives are routinely blamed for not caring about people. And yet you say just the opposite is true, that it, it's liberals who care about their vision yes. of how the world should be, but not about real-life human being. Uh, wh whereas I think conser conservatives want, want to stop people from being disadvantaged. You know, in other words, the, the liberals want to help the poor while they're poor, but really the biggest benefit is to stop them from being poor. And th that they have very little interest in. What is the liberal premise? I guess uh, uh, the Rousseau notion, you know, that man is born free but is everywhere in chains, that the real problem of the world is that the institutions are wrong. If the institutions were right, then man, there, there is nothing in human nature that would cause us to be unhappy. It's the fact that we have the wrong institution. What is the conservative premise? That uh, man is flawed from, uh, from day one, and that uh, you, there are no solutions, there are only trade-offs, and whatever you do to deal with one of man's flaws, it creates another problem, but that you try to get the best trade-off you can get, and that's all you can hope for. Uh, I've often said uh, there, there are three questions that I think would destroy most of the arguments on the left. And the first is, uh, compared to what? The second is, at what cost? And the third is, what hard evidence do you have? Uh, there are very few ideas on the left that can pass all three of those.